This is Dan Lucas from HTS Ag and this is AgVid.TV. Today we're at the Ag Connect 2013 and with me I have Dr. Xavier and a couple of his friends from Zambia. Dr. Xavier, what brings you to Ag Connect 2013? We have come here to explore various business opportunities in agriculture uh, between the uh, various you know, nations and of course talking about the USA and Zambia. Yeah, and uh, specifically we are trying to look at um, the new technology in agriculture which can be transferred to Zambia. As you know, uh, the world everywhere is looking at, uh, at advancing alternatives that are going to increase uh, crop production in Africa because of the use of uh, shifting cultivation. Uh, normally, um, shifting cultivation is practiced in search of uh, fertile land. Yeah, we have farmers who are still using uh, you know, outdated uh, methods of agriculture which do not increase any yields. So if they are not able to get uh, a sufficient you know, crops uh, per, 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 per hectare, you know, for instance, yeah, they begin to, to you know, cut down more trees so that they can uh, plant more new you know, crops yeah, in, in virgin land. But then uh, with uh, crop yielding uh, uh, technologies, yeah, that kind of uh, you know, practice must actually you know, stop in Africa. So our coming here is actually aimed at ensuring that uh, we explore the, the opportunities to, to buy from here and sell in Zambia new technologies in agriculture that will increase the yields. Excellent. Well, give me a couple examples of the new technologies that you're looking at specifically. Yes, we have seen some whereby you, when you use uh, like conservation you know, tillage, you know, for instance, yeah, we have, looked, we, have, we have seen some technology whereby through conservation you know, tillage, you are able to maintain the health of the soil mm -hmm. and also plant you know, health. Yeah, so we have really seen quite a number of technologies that uh, can be transferred you know, to Africa. Of course, there are some that uh, require a heavy investment in, uh, uh, for instance, you need a greater you know, horsepower and so forth, yeah, which uh, not everybody may, able to, may, may access. Right. I mean, in Africa or in Zambia, where I come from specifically. But then there are others that are simple, which can, even, which can be applied by small order you know, farmers. And we believe this is actually opportune because right now, as we are aware, there is the United Nations program to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. So such conservation tillage technologies are really appropriate in, in, in Zambia and I believe other African nations. Yeah, I think the, the use of no-till and conserved tillage applies anywhere, yes. you know, even in the U.S. so that we don't lose all our topsoil that's where all the nutrients are. And that's what you're trying to do in Zambia. That's what you're trying to do actually, yes. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Thank well, you. I appreciate yeah. your time. This is Dan Lucas, HTS Ag on agvid.tv.